the man certainly has a reputation. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest Marilyn Manson rumors. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most out there stories and rumors regarding the infamous rock legend. Number 10. He was going to kill himself at a concert. Halloween, Marilyn Manson, they go so well together, so it's only natural that fans were expecting something scary. Manson was set to perform at the convention hall in Asbury, New Jersey on Halloween night in 1996. Before the show began, rumors were circulating that Manson was going to commit suicide while performing on stage. This obviously never happened, as Manson is still kicking it today. That said, there was a bomb threat made that night, so the concert wasn't without some type of scare. But luckily, nothing came of that either. Number 9. He Murdered Hospital Patients Yeah, so this rumor is ridiculous. Supposedly, Manson would go around to various hospitals and unplug patients from life support devices. Manson is a dark dude, sure, but he's certainly not a psychopath. But aside from the fact that he's actually a super normal guy who'd never go around killing strangers in hospitals, do you think he really has time to do that? We assume he's pretty busy, what with his successful music career and all. This is pretty much the worst possible rumor you could spread about someone. Not only is it malicious, it also makes very little sense when you actually think about it. Number 8. Manson called his song Cryptorchid because he has the condition. When a boy is still a worm, it's hard to learn the number seven. Only Marilyn Manson could release a song called Cryptorchid. Cryptorchidism is a male birth defect where one or both testicles fail to descend. The track in question is on Manson's second album, Antichrist Superstar, and it tells the story of a disappointing child evolving into a disturbed and sinister man. So it seems as if Manson is using cryptorchidism as a metaphor for maturation. However, some fans have speculated that Manson is actually singing about the condition because he has it himself, as proven by the faint repeating line, I wish I had my balls. Number 7. He nearly formed a Christian band with Billy Corgan It's hard to imagine someone who made an album called Antichrist Superstar also being in a Christian band, but that's what the rumor mill claims. Billy Corgan of The Smashing Pumpkins was a creative consultant for Manson's third album, Mechanical Animals, and he provided background vocals on one of its songs, but that's about the extent of their collaboration. There is no Christian band, and it's highly unlikely that there was ever a consideration for one. But hey, you never know. Number 6. Nicolas Cage Would Pretend To Be Marilyn Manson We never thought we'd hear the names Marilyn Manson and Nicolas Cage in the same sentence, but here we go. As the rumor goes, Nicolas Cage would dress up as Marilyn Manson and attend events pretending to be him. While we suppose the two have similar face shapes, this plan would easily fall apart if Cage's sunglasses fell off or if he was, you know, to speak, which we assume happens a lot at public events. Plus, we're pretty sure Nicolas Cage has better things to do than dress up as Marilyn Manson for a night. But then again, maybe not. No. Number 5. He Got Breast Implants Marilyn Manson certainly goes above and beyond for his work, doesn't he? The cover for Mechanical Animals has garnered equal parts praise and confusion throughout the years, as it depicts Manson with red hair and eyes, six fingers, a lack of genitalia, and breasts. Rumors soon circulated that Manson had gotten breast implants, and that those seen on the cover were real. While it makes for a fun story, it's just not true, as they were simply a prosthetic made by SMG effects. Yep, nothing more than a little movie magic. Number 4. He Kills Animals During His Concerts In the late 90s and early 2000s, Manson was seen as a highly controversial and disturbed individual. So, naturally, many rumors spread about his allegedly depraved nature. According to Internet Legend, Manson would throw puppies into the crowd at his concerts and refuse to play until the dogs were killed. This is certainly not a new rumor, as similar stories spread in the 70s and 80s about comparable rock icons like Alice Cooper and Ozzy Osbourne. And just as it never happened with them, it never happened with Manson, but that didn't stop the rumor mill from turning. 
Number three, Marilyn Manson and Josh Sabiano are one and the same. Suit yourselves, I'm getting an ice cream sandwich. Remember Josh Sabiano? Or did you ever know who Josh Sabiano was? Uh, he played the nerdy, allergy-suffering Paul Pfeiffer on The Wonder Years. But after that, he disappeared from the limelight and became a lawyer. Or did he? As this incredibly wacky rumor goes, Saviano grew up and became Marilyn Manson. We don't know how or why this rumor started, although we guess they bear a passing resemblance to each other. Anyway, for those curious, Manson's first album, Portrait of an American Family, was released in July 1994, when Saviano was 18 years old. Seems a little young, but hey, whatever. Number two, Manson's girlfriend had her eye removed for his sexual pleasure. Now this is just messed up. As seems to be a common occurrence for this shock rocker, a particularly disgusting rumor began circulating about how Manson had his girlfriend's eyeball removed so that he could have sex with her empty socket. This is just wrong on so many levels, and it's so blatantly false we don't even know where to begin. Why would she agree to that? Why an eyeball socket? More importantly, why on earth would someone circulate this rumor? We don't really know, but it makes for one horrifying and patently untrue story. Number one, he had ribs removed so he could perform fellatio on himself. This rumor is easily the most famous of them all, and it's been circulating for decades. You've probably heard this story a million times, but if you haven't, here goes. Well, allegedly, Marilyn Manson had a number of ribs removed so he could perform oral sex on himself. Oh, those wacky satanic performers. What will they think of next? Okay, in all seriousness, sure, this makes for a funny story, but it's been debunked on numerous occasions, including by Manson himself. See, it stands to reason if I could perform oral sex on myself, then I wouldn't be on the Wonder Years chasing Winnie Cooper. While he's certainly an eccentric man, it seems he draws the line at rib removal. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.